So the LG V50 with the Snapdragon 855 comes in a dual screen format. And of course, LG also have another flagship phone with the Snapdragon 855, and that is the LG G8. So how will the two do against each other in a speed test G? Well, let's find out. On the left-hand side, we have the LG V50 with the Snapdragon 855 and dual screens. And you can see in the second screen there, another Speedtest G video running between the Note 10 Snapdragon and the Note 10 uh, Exynos version. And here on the right-hand side, we have the LG G8 also with the Snapdragon 855. So it's three Snapdragon 855 devices and an Exynos 9825. You consider all the devices that are on screen. And as I said, that the LG G8 has clearly gone into the lead as it was the first into that bloom test, casting my I clicked over to the second screen. We can also see the Bloom test was running there on those other devices. As we now go into the SQL light test, I'm expecting roughly the same kind of speed from both of these being LG devices. Yes, they were, but of course, the G8 was the first into the test and the first out of the test. It's now into the 3D cubes test as the uh, other two devices there are already into the 2D gaming test. So as we said that, the 2D gaming test now comes up on the LG G8 and it's now come up on the uh, LG V50. Remembering the V50 there is powering both those screens at the same time and I do believe while it's doing that, it is in full HD mode on both displays as we are now into the 16 thread test which was completed first by the LG G8 which means it's now gone into the Unity test. And I do believe now this Unity test is going to be quite a significant lead over the uh, LG V50. Now, of course, we've got the same processor, the same GPU in both devices. So you've got the Adreno 640, but of course, the LG V50 is also powering the video there on the left-hand side. And as we can see that the uh, user test was running on those other two devices. In fact, the Note 10 has already gone into the greater, and in fact, it's finished the test. But let's turn our attention to our main two competitors here. And the LG G8 is also in the compression test, which means it's also going to finish the test any moment. Now, there you go, 1 minute 38.9 seconds and as i said that the lg v50 was also in the compression test seven eight come on now nine when's it gonna finish here we go ten there we go one minute and fifty point four okay let's break down those scores and see what happened so clearly the winner there was the LG G8 with 1 minute 38.9 and coming in quite a bit later, the LG V50 with 1 minute 50.4. But remember, it was powering both screens in that second screen. It was running a YouTube video. So if we look at the CPU times 37.9 versus 31.1, so a significant lead there by the LG G8. And then in the mix, 41.8, but again, a clear win there by the LG G8 with 38.7. And then when we get down to the G, GPU 30.7 and 28.9. So a clear win in all three categories there by the LG8, giving it an overall time of 1 minute 38.9. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speedtest G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget we also have a Twitter account, Speedtest underbar G. And well, I suppose that's it. I'll see you in the next one.